Hey guys! This episode we're going to talk about confidence. Confidence. Confidence and confidence. Now, I typed confidence into the Google search bar and this is what I came up with. Now, to be confident, that doesn't mean cocky. The difference between being confident and cocky is very simple. Being cocky is being a know-it-all and uh, I already know the answers to all of these questions. Being confident is knowing that you already know the answers to those questions and not having to rub it in everyone's face that you already know the answer to all of those questions. For instance, if you are a mascot for something or the liberty person that comes out around tax season that goes and waves and dances around in a costume, people like that have to feel pretty confident about what they're doing because they have to wear those suits that, trust me, they make you look goofy. I was both a baby cow and I was an Easter bunny. I know what I'm talking about. So this episode is more about the confidence game and using it kind of like you would as an actor. There's a difference between being fake and faking confidence if you don't actually have it. So how do you go about faking confidence if you don't actually feel confident? Well, you make other people believe in you and believe that you are confident, even if you're shaking in your boots. Sometimes confidence is about being able to wear something like this and still make you be able to believe that I am confident enough to get up on YouTube and share my message with you. When you're wearing a costume like that, sure, people are going to laugh, but they're not actually laughing at you, as they are the character you are portraying. Confidence isn't about what you're wearing. Well, sometimes it helps what you're wearing, can help increase your self-confidence, but for the most part, it's about believing in what you are saying. And when you believe in what you are saying, other people will believe in you. And that's the whole thing about the confidence game, is you want other people to believe that what you believe is correct. For instance, if you're interviewing for Survivor, they give you about a one minute slot for you to convince these judges that you're never actually going to meet unless they pick you, why they should pick you. Staring into a camera when you have no experience can be very intimidating. Oh my goodness, it's so scary. But the more you put yourself in front of one and the more you practice, the more confident you can be that as soon as you get in front of that, it's not scary anymore. You're not actually looking at the fact that you are on camera anymore as you are, I'm prepared to tell you, even if you happens to be a camera screen, why I can do what I think I can do. Whether you're telling people what the square root of pi is or how to make a pie, you want to be able to do it with confidence. And confidence is about getting up there and just giving them that message, letting them know that what you have to say is worth hearing because you believe it is worth hearing. And that's about as inspirational as I'm getting today because this thing's made out of fleece and it is hot. And I'm about to die here in a second. So remember, confidence is something that comes from inside of you when you believe in what you are doing. Say bye, Beef Bead. And she shrinks away. She's not very confident in front of the camera.